Imagine you have a beautiful girlfriend but you discover something makes you break up with her. But you find a better one and you play with her a solo and team basketball matches so badly and every single day. Okay that's the idea of the video before starting bring some popcorn and let's enjoy together. One day, while minding his own business in the living room, his eldest sister, Ame, called out to him. It seems like she just got out of the bath and is asking him about her lower protective gear. At that moment, he doesn't know where to look, although he has no underscore 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 eyes. He told her she should not be this defenseless. By the way, I have no idea why the hell does he sound like that. Anyways, she told him they are family, so there's nothing to be ashamed about. Damn it, looks like she might be from Alabama. Moving on, he told her he's a grown-up now and even has a girlfriend, according to Emma. His girlfriend is the future student council president. Then she left him to do her stuff. After a while, his other sister, Ruka, came home and she looks like she is on that time of the month. She is very angry at him for not preparing any food for her. Although women are supposed to be strong and independent in 2024, he has no clue what she's talking about until he looks at his phone. It looks like she has texted him, but he did not read them. He explained to her that he is busy chatting with Ama just now. However, she does not give a damn about his reasonable explanation and starts to punish him for talking back to her. Anyways, he politely informed her that she might have a health issue since she has put on weight. No, that's a lot of damage. After that, she got angry at him and left him alone. Well, at least that works in his favor. I will try that out on the editor too. On second thought, I won't do that since she will actually depawn me. At the academy, his friends envy him for having such perfect sisters. However, he does not understand them at all since they are just his sisters. One day, when he walked past Ruka's room, he could hear some royalty-free audio coming from her room. It seems like she is doing a solo let's play in there, and he did not take a peek or anything. On the next day, he is chatting with his girlfriend, Yuka. In the meantime, Emma is watching them from afar, and it looks like she is supervising them. Then, he is having lunch at the rooftop with Yuka. Both of them are being lovey-dovey with each other. It seems like they are a wholesome couple. It would be a shame if something happened between them, right? Anyways, Ruka is watching them from behind, and it looks like she is not happy. After everyone has left, both of them start to do some cultural activities. He is trying to spawn a lot of holy water from her dungeon. Then she realized that his Excalibur is ready for battle. However, she told him that she couldn't accept its challenge now, and she promised him that she will clean his Excalibur the climate-friendly way after school. Meanwhile, Ama is meeting someone at the student council room. After the school is over, he is still waiting for her, but she is not coming. Little did he know that she is coming, but it's somewhere else. When he went to the student council office, he asked Emma if their meeting is over. She told him that they did not have any meeting today. It seems like Yuka told him that she has a meeting, but it looks like she is actually lying. He informed this matter to Ama, and she is going to help him to find Yuka. After a while, it seems like she has found something. She asked him not to come closer and go to other places. However, he does not listen to her and looks through the door gap. At that moment, he could feel the NTR coursing through his veins. Yuka is actually doing protein time with another guy, although she already has him as her boyfriend. She even said the same stuff to that guy. It looks like she belongs to the street after all. After that, Ama is taking him back home. Thus, he is back to single player mode. On that day, at night time Ama came to his room to check up on him. It seems like he is playing a legit game to distract him from the breakup. He is acting like nothing has happened, but she knew that he is actually very sad inside. So she gave him a hug and told him that it is fine to feel sad. In addition, she also knew that moving on is not easy, and she will always be there for him. After that, she is going to heal his broken heart by doing some fun family bonding activities. I guess she has studied Alabama culture after all. Moving on, she allows him to admire her superior gene, which the editor doesn't have. Then she starts to clean his Excalibur the family-oriented way. 
Her cleaning is too damn family-friendly for him. So he gave her some family-sized organic protein shake. On the next day, Ruka got angry at him because he forgot to wake her up early. I guess he is too tired from bonding a lot yesterday. Anyways, Ama is happy because he has finally cheered up now. Then she told him to act normal or Ruka will be cess of them. She also told him to forget everything and find a new girlfriend. Well, since this is a family-oriented anime, there is no way he can do that. At school, Yuka wants to talk with him, but he chose to keep his distance. It seems like she doesn't know that her cheating has been found out by him. Then he went to meet EMA, and he accidentally saw her lower protective gear. Although he has no eyes, after that he brought her to the storage room. She has no idea what he is going to do until he unleashed his Excalibur right in front of her. She is shocked and quickly reminds him about the stuff that she told him this morning. As I said before, he does not care about that because once a family, always a family. When they are doing some family bonding activities, someone entered the storage room. Fortunately, he was out of her sight, and she doesn't know what is going on. In the meantime, he is drinking some holy water from the family dungeon. After that, she went to the bathroom to hide from him, but it looks like he identified himself as a woman since it is 2024 now. Moving on, he told her that he wants to do the protein time with her. Suddenly, someone entered the bathroom. Once again, he is out of their sight, and they didn't know that he is in there. When she is chatting with them, he is still spawning holy water from her dungeon. After they left, he immediately charged into her dungeon and gave her a lot of protein supplement because he knew that will make her healthy. However, for unknown reasons, she looks very angry. She starts to leer at him and told him that he must not do that anymore. Suddenly, someone entered the room, and as usual, he has ultra instinct, so he managed to hide in time. It looks like that guy is her fake boyfriend. In addition, she is the one who asked him to do the protein time with Yuka. Well, I guess he is the one who came to see her on that day. Wait a second, this means that she is the one who planned everything. Now she is definitely playing some 4D chess. In the meantime, Mizuki is still doing his usual stuff. After that guy left, he immediately charged into her dungeon. Although she asked him to stop, he ignores her order and continues his quest as the legendary dungeon explorer. After a while, he gave her dungeon a lot of family-sized fresh protein shake as a visiting gift. She is very angry at him and told him that she is going to punish him at home. On the next day, when Ruka is changing in her room, he entered her room without knocking. In addition, she doesn't meet the requirement to lock the door since locking doors is actually very difficult. Anyways, he asked her about her boyfriend. It looks like her boyfriend is not a real one, and she is just using him to keep other guys away. At nighttime, when Emma is sleeping, he used a rope to restrict her movement. Then he used the holy relic, which is a fake Excalibur, to attack her dungeon. At that moment, she suddenly wakes up and realizes that she is in this state. She wants to know what the hell is he doing. After that, he asked her if she was talking about Yuka when they are in the student council room. She told him that she did not ask that guy to do protein time with Yuka. It seems like she said too much, and she basically admits that she is the one who planned this. Then he got angry at her for doing that and increased the power of the holy relic on her dungeon. After she has spawned a lot of holy water, he records her in 4K. I guess he is going to use that to politely persuade her for something next time. After that, he charged into her dungeon and gave her a lot of organic fresh protein shake, which is family friendly and safe for the family, so she will repent for her mistake. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime.